What's up? It's your boy, Tunnel Vision. We back at it again. I have this child in the car. She don't know when to be quiet. Even though you tell her to be quiet, she wants to keep talking still. I'm up in AZ, you know. But, gotta go watch this movie real quick. She, yeah. wants, she wants to go watch The Lion King. I wanted to watch it. You know, some action. But, I have to see some animated big cats instead it's not but whatever it is animated not animated whatever it is some cartoon or whatever animals lions <laughs> yes yeah. <laughs> yeah well regardless Shakur Stevenson that's what we're talking about today um he said that what this boy says she got me distracted now he said that you know he's tired of the promoters and all the promoters not putting out the the what they call the the fights that we want to see and they all need to get together and Al and 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 uh, Bob Arum and everybody and they need to talk it out so we can get the fights that the people want and this and that and it's not good it's messed up that the you know different people from different sides aren't fighting blah 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 this you know. It's a nice little inspirational, you know, social media tweet that he put up. But in his situation, you look at his situation, you're talking all this while benefiting from what think the way things are right now. You know? Right now he's about to have a title shot, a WBO title shot, WBO, aka what Bob orders, against Gonzalez. Belt was dropped by another Bob Aram fighter and he moved up you know and now you have this guy over here fighting for a belt and he's over here talking about oh you know he's looking forward to meeting Lomachenko at 130 pounds even though Lomachenko's at 135 got three belts about to go for undisputed tanks on his heels moved up it's his mandatory you know David Haney on his butt but it looked, they made it pretty clear they're not going to fight David Haney, though. You know, they made that very clear. They made it clear they're probably going to drop all the belts and probably move down without even fighting Tank. With the person they've been calling and yapping about all this time. So you know what the plans are when it comes to Lomachenko. That's why you're talking about fighting him at 130. So once again, you're benefiting from the way things are. You know? It's like, if you live in a country which is boarding another country. This actually does is happening between two countries. And one country is physically forcing people from another country, for going down to their lands, forcing the families out, bulldozing the homes, bulldozing their places of worship, and then putting up colonies, you know, and letting their own people go into those places. It'd be as if you're over here protesting, you're from the country that's doing the damage, and you're protesting, saying it's wrong, it's wrong, it's wrong, waving your flag and yelling from your house that you got from one of those settlements. Makes no sense. So when you get your WBO championship, your belt, are you going to be pushing to fight a Gary Russell at, at what's it go at um at 126 because he's a WBC champion? Are you going to be trying to do unification with him? Hmm. Because he's willing to go over over there and fight you for the right amount of money. He'll be willing to do that unification. Are you going to be pushing for that? You want to make a certain quote change? Push for that. Be like, no, I got this belt. I need that unification with him. You know? Or are you going for the unification with the kid from the UK who was signed to Frank Warren, who's working directly with your promoter? So are you going to be jumping on the other side of the fence? You know, or are you just going to do things that where you believe negotiation, negotiation wise, everything is cool and works best for you. You know, nice little inspirational speech, you know, but you also with the same person who says if Ruiz wins, forget it, undisputed what's about with Wilder. Oh, no. While assigned to fight Fury, you know, for such to find Fury. So after. You know, he's done with the Ortiz fight. Oh, no, he's fighting Fury. We're not going to step aside and let him fight Orwesco Ruiz. You know, that's what you said. So your promoter saying that he's going to stand in, in the middle of Undisputed. 
your promoter is the same person who pulled Tyson Fury out of a 50-50 um, negotiated deal and kept, what's it called, a huge fight from happening. Your promoter is the same one who told, um, who kept uh, Billy Joe Saunders from fighting Demetrius Andres. Your promoter did that. You know, so your promoter has been known for standing in the middle of big fights. Your 126 champion, the WBO champion from top rank, he was never allowed to fight anybody. Ramirez at 168, who had the uh, championship at 168, he was never allowed to unify. Never was allowed to unify. The only reason Ramirez at 140 got to unify with Hooker is because his contract was up. So he's like, yo, I need my unification. The zone offered him what? It was like five mil. And he was able to do it, but he had to sign an extension in order to get that done. That's the one of the reasons why Chavez Jr. The only reason we had the Chavez Jr. versus uh damn, what's that boy's name? Martinez was because his contract was up and he's like, nah, I'm not resigning unless we get I get that fight done. He wanted to get that done. He wanted to make that happen. You know? So before we start talking about everybody else, you know, understand the house that you live in. Understand the history of the person that you signed to. Okay? Because this is what he's known for. He's known for keeping big fights from happening. You know? This is the person who kept Miguel Cotto versus Floyd Mayweather from happening. Cotto versus... Um, uh, not Cotto, uh, Mayweather versus De La Hoya from happening. Mares was offered, Mares, Mares team offered uh, uh, Donaire $3 million for unification. He made him turn that down and fall rigging down for what, 1.5? He stood in the middle of that unification. This is what he's known for. Okay? So understand that. All these fights they couldn't get done with Manny Pacquiao. As soon as Manny Pacquiao signs the PBC, it's, it's not hard getting these fights done. You know, him and Broner, done like that. Him and Thurman, done like that. You know? So understand the house that you're in, okay? Understand their history. You should be looking at getting out of there anyway with the way that they're treating you compared to other people for Teofimo Lopez. But we'll talk about that on another day. Have a good one. Be safe. See you on the next one. Subscribe. Hit that like button. Share the videos.